We will not become an ASMR podcast, <laughs> no matter how sexy your voices yeah. sound. Listen, everybody, to the sound of my mustache brushing against the microphone. I'm going to turn that up in the audio. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, if you're out there listening, I hope you enjoy the sound of my whispery voice. This is so awkward. It's beginning <clears throat> to look a lot like Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Easter carols are a thing, guys. Yeah. Put some spec on Easter carols. Chestnuts are roasting on an open fire. <laughs> Jack Frost nipping at your nose Though it's been said many times, many ways Happy, Happy Easter, Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? They know the bunny's on his way <laughs> Cracking them eggs <laughs> Oh my god We wish you a happy Easter We wish you a happy Easter We wish you a happy Easter And a happy Good Friday <laughs> Oh my god What the motherfucking shit Why is this being annoying? Shit, shit, motherfuck, fuck, motherfuck, fuck, fuck, shit, shit, fuck. Um, yeah, okay, I'm ready when you guys are. Happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to Animation Anime, where Hi. we Hi. are <laughs> high. <laughs> all high as fuck, no. talking about Easter. <laughs> we have been talking about Easter. Yeah, we have been talking about Easter. No, we Neither are, of you are high, though. No, no. we are not high. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. And if you're a kid, why are you watching this or listening in? You, this is not for you. Yeah. <laughs> especially this one. This one yeah, especially holy. this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, holy fuck, it is early in the morning while we're doing this. So It's we actually might not. Be... It's like noon, just so you know. Shut up. Don't, we went the to bed people, late. The people yeah. don't need to yeah. know. <laughs> also, so early. Also, you know, I, I can't remember if we did. Maybe we did. I, my brain is just mush right now. But yeah. Yeah. I apologize if we didn't. But spoiler alert. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because I don't think we did that last episode. Did we? I don't I, think anyone. Know, I, I, last Tommy. episode, I don't think anyone cares. I don't remember it happening. Maybe it did. Yeah. If it did, great. If it didn't, when well, we're doing it now, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler, spoiler alert. We're going to spoil the shit out of Elf and Lead. Elf and Lead. Which is kind of like Stranger Things meets Sweet Tooth. You guys remember Sweet Tooth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like those two things together. <laughs> so I think it's Elf and Lied. But Elf and Lied? lied. I, I'm pre I think. One of you is a fucking liar. Well, I mean, I think that's... The, the Japanese yeah. is Erufen is Raito. Okay. Raito, so that would yeah. lead that would me to believe. That it would be lied and not yeah. lead. Otherwise, it would be Rito. It is spelled, if we're speaking English, lied. Mm -hmm. It just sounds weird. Yeah. It sounds lied. like Elfin lied. What, what are they lying about? about? That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the grammar there is a little yeah. off, yeah. but like, whatever. It, it doesn't make any sense. There's no elves. I actually did think this was a show about elves until I watched the first episode, and I was like, "Oh, it's actually a show about cats." <laughs> yeah, weird. Uh, I mean, this this is a pretty big one though. Like when it came out, and especially like the, I guess a bit of controversy around it. Okay. Because uh, some people really liked it because it's like, I mean, to today's standard, there's a lot of other like heavier, gory, and like more fucked up stuff. Sure. But like. At the time for like kind of more mainstream anime. I do feel like I did hear of it. Yeah. Like long before we were watch I was watching oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's a title that floated in the air. The yeah. name the name comes up yeah. Yeah, often actually. Yeah. 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 For like, hey, wanna watch something fucked up? Here, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> to, to me it's like it's it's just like it's the epitome of like of like that edge lord stuff that I, I always bring up. Like yeah. the anime likes to dabble into sometimes. For yeah. sure. Yeah. And like this is just like Pure edge lording, lord like it is. It is for sure. And, yeah, and it's it, just it's servicing the people who who want to see like cute little girls do mm -hmm. fucked up, gory, 
yeah. Yeah. insane shit. Yeah. And that's like, that is so typical anime, like in, a, in like a certain lane. <laughs> yeah. Like there, that, that comes up a lot. That, this might be the yeah. most that. Yes. That I've ever seen. That's what, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, to me, it burnt me out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you guys I, are into edging, this is one for you. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, gross. I don't think this one does that. I think this one I, comes all over I you. I was gonna say this. This one is yeah. actually a premature ejaculator. Yeah, all over you. Because because yeah. literally like the opening scene, like yeah. the beginning of the show, yeah. is insanity. Is insanity. Yeah. And also, I was good after that. Yeah. Because the rest of the show was just that opening scene, just like. Yeah. Over and over and over and over and over and really? over again, and a bunch of sadness and pain. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sadness. But 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 <laughs> but, the, but, the, but the sadness again was ultimately just used as a tool to prop up the violence. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It was like, how do we make these people act very violently towards each other? Yeah. Sadness. We need to create a sad circumstance so uh -huh. that they can yeah. rip each other to pieces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. need to traumatize them. So again, the and focus you <laughs> for watching. The focus is the, is the violent ed edge lord shit. Yeah. yeah. You're right. It burnt me out, man. I I, I I do like that kind of stuff. I really like. Yeah. The, I've, we've said this before. I like yeah. the aesthetic of cute little anime girl is like super op and mm -hmm. like fucks everybody up. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, like, I got hit over the head with a sledgehammer with that in the very first scene, yeah. of the yeah. very first episode. So everything after that, to me, I was just numb to. That didn't yeah. bother me so much, the violence, to be honest with you, but there were other things that bothered me. Oh, yeah, I know. Amount. I know what I, you I don't, mean. I wouldn't say it, it didn't, like, bother me. You just had it was it was just, too much I of was it? just over yeah. it immediately, and that seems to be one of the few hooks that this show really has For me, is what, the violence. What I was over real quick was the cat girl shit. Real yeah, quick. That's the, that's real the, quick, I wanted that to be over, <laughs> to be honest with you. Real quick. But you know what? Like, it, it's your typical, like... Um, they hit you hard in the front end, yeah. so much so that the middle is just kind of okay. And then it did have a cool ending, I thought. Um, but other than that, like, yeah, like, I, if you hit me that hard, like, it's kind of like, you, we haven't watched it yet, but Goblin Slayer, for example, that's another very con con controversial first episode. Goblin Slayer. Yeah, Goblin Slayer, right? Jesus. Like, I had a crazy high octane first episode. And then the rest, it kind of dials everything back. And, but then, like, you know, I'm invested in being high octane the whole time. And I guess you can't really. Mm. But, like, that's where my adrenaline is. At it's funny point. because in in Western type, like, sh programming, Western shows, you, you typically get, like, a one in four high energy episodes with, like, massive plot points or, like, yeah. huge character development. And the rest is kind of just, like, slowly carrying you there. But that works, I think, sometimes mm -hmm. to like keep your, your hooks in because you know you're going to get it. Yeah. You just don't know exactly when. Mm -hmm. But you're right. In a show like this, if they if they don't keep it up, what, like why, why am I watching? You know what I yeah. mean? I'm giving up, I think. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm a total I, I think, lord, so let's I think part right. of that, though, is the plots are, thi <laughs> are thinner. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think if the plots are thinner, they have to keep it high octane. Yeah, well, and I think that's the problem when we watch a lot of stuff for you is because I'm you, a plot boy. You're a plot boy. I'm a plot queen. Plot queen, like, because like, like sometimes when Jay and I watch anime, we watch it for the animation, the visuals, the action, yeah, the whatever, the goriness yeah. or or degenerate shit, mainly yeah. me, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. you know what I mean, Edward like, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah, he is more of the edge lord, I would say, of the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is definitely more up his alley. I think <laughs> definitely overall. Speaking of edge lord shit, question for you guys: Is this kind of a harem? Oh, this is totally a fucking harem. It is right. It, it's like an underlining harem. It's yeah, fucking. Yeah. It's there's like, elements of that for sure. Yeah. yeah. Most like honestly, there's always in anime. There's always gonna be, like, from I shouldn't say always, but like, there's always there's. A bunch of anime that really like lean into the harem tropes all the time, yeah. right? Especially yeah. Um, anime and manga that are written by men. Sure, right? Yeah, a lot horny, of horny, fantasies. horny, problematic. Yeah, thing. but yeah, I mean, like this kind of look like uh, fuck, like the character design wise. Uh, what was it called? It was another. There's another anime by Clamp. Um, that had, had like these cute little girls with the uh, chobits. Chobits, yes, thank you, thank you. Some pie coming in for <laughs> yeah. the fucking win. There no, go. there there was a clampness to it, but like again, to me, like this, this unfortunately, it kind of falls into that. Like we, we've talked about, like this decade for me. Yeah, where yeah, I right. like I generally am like not vibing with the art. 
you find it a little kind of bland maybe yeah and like i think a lot of the influence like mikey was saying i, I feel some like old school magical girl clamp kind of vibe and influence on this mm -hmm. but i just think because of that decade that came out the the actual polish on it and the actual finish on the anime yeah. <laughs> not for me dude yeah. not yeah. for me yeah. okay fair enough. like yeah. i i i, I I had the potential to really like this, but I think it just came out in that zone for me, man, where I just yeah. was not loving at all. But because yeah, 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 yeah. 2004, yeah, uh, I mean, is, this uh, is very like I mean, pre this, it was it had that um, kind of monster rancher. You remember that anime? I do. Yeah, yeah. like kind of has that. I guess anime titles are wild. <laughs> yeah, Monster Rancher was great. Yeah. It was yeah. like that was a another childhood one okay. subset of like Pokemon or like yeah. you know, boy uh, okay. with little monster. Okay. Doesn't uh, matter. It doesn't, yeah. yeah, fuck. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fair enough. Monster Rancher. Anyways. Yeah. All right. Well. But, but yeah. Yeah. It has. It has kind of like that feel in, in the animation, like as quality goes, not yeah. as far as the actual animation, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I and especially for something like this that I think is so visually, you know, like it's supposed to be such a visual experience. Yeah, this and show. Enticing. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and so if I think if yeah the visuals aren't gelling, then you might not really love this one. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But, Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. But like the other thing though is like you know. That first episode, like, I'm always going to go back to that first episode. It was just so fucking good, right? Especially, like, you you know, on the heels of Eva, um, you know, having how gory that was and, like, how fucked up that was. And then, you know, you have now I'm thinking with this first episode, oh, I'm going to am I going to get, like, something kind of like that? No, you get cat you girls. You get cat girls. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't do, get that. You do get cat girls. Yeah. I will say the cat girl thing was getting a little annoying after a I'd while. I'd say so, but, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think it was a, a huge detriment because mm. you, you needed a bit of a a, a mechanism to kind of – Need is a strong word. I, I knew you were going to yeah. call him out on <laughs> need. is a strong need. word, yeah. As soon as he said need, I'm yeah. like, Jordy's going to be like, don't need. Yeah. Don't yeah. need. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't need it. <laughs> Personally. Fuck you. You need it. You need more than, uh, I don't fucking know what you need. You need what I need is Senpai's Corner. Yeah. 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 Ah, there you go. Yeah, Senpai's yeah. Corner. All right. Let's go. This one might be a little long, but I'll try and get through it. Okay. Um, so, Elfin Lied, or like I said, Erufin Raito is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Lin Okamoto. Uh, it was originally serialized in Shueisha's weekly Young Jump from June 2002 to August 2005. Um, pretty popular, well-known manga series as well. Mm -hmm. um, I actually wonder if maybe my art hang-ups might be solved by just going with the manga. There you go. You know, a lot of the time a that A lot of the happen. time that yeah. happens, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Elfin Lied revolves around the interactions, views, emotions, and differences between human beings and the Dicloni, a mutant species similar to humans in build, but distinguishable by two horns on their heads and vectors, mm -hmm. or transparent, yeah. telekinetically controlled arms that have the power to manipulate and cut objects within their reach. They really like to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> they do like to do <laughs> the that. The series is centered on the teenage Diclonius girl Lucy, who was rejected by human beings and subsequently wants revenge. A uh, little fun fact, the series title is German for Elves' Song. Oh. Still makes no sense. Yeah, or more formally, Song of the Elves, and takes its name from the song... Uh, of the Elves? Elfenlied, yeah. which is featured in the story. Okay. Mm. Um, fun fact. Involves themes of discrimination, so, so, social alienation, identity, prejudice, revenge, abuse, jealousy, regret, and the value of humanity. Um, and of course, noted for the graphic violence um, and overall transgressive subject matter, pretty much of the whole story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then the 13 episode anime television series was produced by, and this is kind of ironic, the studio Arms. Womp <laughs> womp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Um, I enjoyed that fact. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? You want another fun fact? Sure. Arms primarily does hentai. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, however, they also handled Genshikin Part 2. Weird. Uh, <laughs> very strange. Very yeah. strange. Another one yeah. for you guys. Uh, um, very odd. But yeah, some other ones you guys might you know recognize, like the Queen's Blade series, mm -hmm. um, Valkyria. Um, yeah, but then there's just a lot of hentai. Like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like we're talking a lot, guys. Yeah. Yeah. These guys were doing work. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so anyways, that's Studio Arms. It was broadcast on ATX in October 2004. Mm -hmm. um, the anime actually finished airing before the manga was complete. 
Uh, so as a result, um, the endings are all, like very different between Game the Thrones. manga and mm. exactly and and the anime. Yeah. Um, Can I pause you guys? No. Yeah. Go I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Like yeah. really badly. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> okay. Go. It I'm back. I'm back. Welcome. The, I got the demons out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was emergency mode. And and we're back. I'm sorry, guys. If we are a little sluggish, it's because we're all fucking hungover and it's the morning. <laughs> and Mikey, just playing our cards. Yeah. Always. You got to be transparent. You're right. I'm fucking a hurting unit. Right <laughs> I feel great. And the coffee yeah. made me have to go to the bathroom, and so I went to the bathroom. Jay, and... proceed with Senpai's Corner. <laughs> You actually timed it really nicely because I was done. Yeah. Oh, and I ruined it by being like, "What's more? What's next?" Let me inter- like let me interrupt you guys, and I was like, "Oh no, I'm done." But then you did. <laughs> it's well, okay, man. Yeah, that worked out. That worked it's okay, out. Man. I guess I'm just feeling a lot of the same themes from this show, like Pain. prejudice, revenge, Sup. okay, yeah. regret. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling all Child these abuse. things right yeah. now. <laughs> discriminated against. Yeah. I'm just joking. I love you, Jordy. Thanks. Glad you feel better, dude. I Trigger do. warning. Thanks. <laughs> now that you're not pooped. Now that you're not all pooped it up. No, I'm pooped it out. That's right. Yeah, yeah. pooped it pooped nice. the pants. No, no, in the yeah. toilet. <laughs> That's where it went. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. this got weird, guys. Let's talk Holy about. Fuck. Let's get into the world, world. Uh, yeah, which is world. like st- pretty standard, but these like weird mutants slash genetically altered humans. Mm-hmm. Humanoid type ca- creatures. Yes, the Diclonius. Yes. Um, and there's clearly it's some sort of semi futuristic world because there's like a level of tech. Yeah. In in this world that like doesn't exist in real life. No. So there's that. We can talk about the Diclonius for a minute and like what they're all about. You kind of did already, right? The fact that apparently they try to reproduce by spreading a genetic infection. Yes. And it all st- stemmed from one. Yeah. And it's only the women that uh, That's right. really survive and have the powers. And they infect through the vectors. Yes. And people who make contact with the vectors end up having Diclonius babies. Yes. Yeah. And the Diclonius babies inevitably go on a murder spree, yes. murdering their parents and also only murdering humans. Yes. Not animals. They don't care about animals. Right. Which I thought was kind of, um, I don't know, a bit of a stretch. Just What's be- that? <laughs> In that sense. What about this is a stretch, yeah. Mikey? No, listen, 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 listen here, guys. Listen Not here, listening. guys. Yeah. Right? Because cause these are these are highly, like, they, they're human at the end of the day, mm-hmm. right? A- and it just happens. Well, no, they're not. Yes, they are. Because you, you are born by a human parent that happened to have a disease, that, essentially. That genetically changed them. Their okay. physiology. Oh, They're oh, humanoid. Oh, 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 humanoid. Okay. It's fucking semantics right no, now. It's, <laughs> it's not. It's actually a huge theme in this. Yeah. Okay. Well, Just okay, to whether I... they are humans or not. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, besides that point. Yeah. Besides that point. Yeah. 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 The, the bi- I think the biggest reason that when uh, they were talking about it and how I perceived it is that, like, yes, they do end up killing their parents mm-hmm. at a young age, but that's only because they're kids still mentally and. They like don't know in, how to control the powers. They, they, yeah, they don't know how to control the powers, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden they mm-hmm. start trying to learn how to control their powers. Right. And, you know, it's like, how are we going to learn how to control the powers as a kid? Like, I'm going to fuck up some people. I don't have any emotional. Yeah. Oops, mom's dead. Yeah, control and, and then trauma. Milk. Yeah. yeah. I Spilled do, milk I, for this Diclonius is dead mom. murder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I do yeah. think you're right about that. They describe it when the, like, scientists or whatever are talking yeah. about it. They're like, oh, it's like a pattern. It's like a habit thing. It's like part of their genealogy that's what they do yeah but i think you're right i think it's more likely that's the case yeah, yeah. but it's interesting because like they talk about in the show they do talk about like the motivations like, yeah they get into a bit of the psychology of like what's going on here yeah Which yeah is, so i mean it, it, it can be smart at times the yeah. show when, yeah, it, 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 when it doesn't want to be just dumb yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's smart dumb yeah yeah um that's kind of it about the world i mean uh, aside from the diclonius and like the tech it's more or less just a no- normal word yeah, yeah. world um yeah. we can talk about the art we kind of did already you know what i mean mm-hmm. uh quite a bit because jay has opinions we always end up talking about art way before art because jay's like let me tell you about the art <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like it i'm okay well, especially we're going over our overall feelings yeah. yeah my overall feelings are usually dictated by how good i thought the art was yeah <laughs> So I can't help it. For sure. Um, I say nothing. <laughs> I'll tell you some points I had about art a couple. Well, the yeah. first one is the intro to this show with like the Gustav Klimt style. Dude, yeah. Art was incredible. Interesting. Yes. And I thought was really cool. Yes. Weird that they went full on nudes. 
mm-hmm. in the intro. Yeah. And then also. Actually, not weird. I you mean, know why not weird? Why? Because it's a fucking hentai studio. I mean, that's true. Yeah. That, that's true. Yeah, yeah. It was weird to me. I was like, that's just, it's, it was just, I, I couldn't find the connection between the intro the and the show. It just felt like they wanted to, to do it. It was just, it was, did. it was yeah. masturbatory is what it was. Yeah. yeah, it really, yeah. You know what? They it really is though. But like, with that. anytime with they do, women. do yeah. that yeah. in like anime, like especially in those early days, yeah. y- you know, it's like, hey, we're, you know, we're trying to push that envelope more yeah. and more, this hentai stuff and fan service into the mainstream, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what most of the guys and mangaka's like yeah right. what, I, what i will say is like that art and like all that klimt stuff like i i fucking love klimt i like studied yeah. him for a while like it was gorgeous art yeah like each oh, yeah. piece was like absolutely beautiful for sure but yeah the the relevance to the show at large was not mm-hmm. existent <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't get it yeah, just same. a choice um, and the outro, uh, in uh, on a context, like in juxtaposing with the intro, was just like a very, very slow zooming in on nude body parts. Yes. Ultra slow, just the whole time. <laughs> you We're getting closer. <laughs> We're getting closer. But, but, but that's also very tropey in anime, too, at, like, at the end of a lot of these kind of style yeah. animes. Um, maybe not this particular style, but like mm-hmm. where they have... A character, and then they always, they're in some sort of pose, and then they slowly yeah. move them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's just a very, like, common thing in yeah. outros. Um, what else do I have here? When we first meet the characters, Yuka and Koda, they're in this town, and it looks really great. And it's like the mm. sakura blossoms are snowing. And mm. I was like, oh, cool, this is, like, a good quality. And I feel like it just slowly got worse as the show went on. Mm. Like, I feel like they... All the money went into the first few episodes. For sure, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's 100% the case. I agree. And yeah. it was obvious to me. Yeah. Especially um, that first episode. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. I was, like, kind of excited about the art, I think, off the first episode. And then, yeah. It was Even the like, gore, mm-hmm. which burned you out, like, the blood spray... spray, spray uh, my brain. The blood sprays and yeah. explosions yeah. in the first show, first episode, were yeah. kind of wild. Yeah. Dude, and they, yeah. They were wild. Like especially when you're 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 just learning about Lucy and how she kills and like you're like wondering how is she just doing this? Is a psych like just telekinetic? Like, yeah, you powers? immediately think it's got to be her brain. Yeah, and that she's just thinking it. Yeah. At no point do you think that there are these like big fucking Fuckin'. googly arms yeah. out in front <laughs> yeah. that are just fucking. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's like and there's a that googly there is arms. that weird hint of like where I think. She opens up a door with her hand, and there's a the yeah. handprint, but you the still bloody don't. Bloody handprint. Yeah, at the very end of the episode, yeah, or something but like that. But you don't see the arms. No. But yeah, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. It, that was cool. I like the bloody yeah. handprint and everything. Like wow. it was a really good first episode. Yeah, slow build. I yeah. appreciate that too. Well, wait, slow build. Oh, well, I mean, like <laughs> for the arms, for, <laughs> so for the arms slow. and the plot of what's happening. You, yeah. have, you yeah. have no idea what's happening yeah. Yeah, in yeah, the first yeah. episode. Yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. Single episode is not slow build. Fair. Fair, they, 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 didn't they, they didn't give you anything. They didn't give you anything. In the yeah. first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess I, slow build is the wrong term, but <laughs> yeah. what, what I'm trying to say <laughs> I get it. is that you did. Yeah. I'm sorry. They held back on the plot in the first episode. Yeah. I shouldn't be doing this yeah. to you today. You can do it. Yeah. It's, it's more funny today than yeah. normal. Yeah, because we're all feeling My brain's fucking mush. Uh. I feel like I got smashed with a vector <laughs> right in my brain. Yeah, right in your brain. Um, Let's talk. We, let's talk for a second. This is kind of character uh-huh. design. But let's talk for a second about the horns, which are—they're not fooling anyone. Those are cat ears. Yeah, that's that, intentional. Yeah, that's that's well, totally the look that they were going yeah. for. But you know, I'm sure even at this point, that hurt me a little in, bit because I'm like, that's so transparent to what you're doing. You know what I mean? I was like, it's one thing to make horns, but like you you wanted a cat girl, and you just wrote it into the tech and the science of this character. <laughs> yeah. To make it a cat girl, I'm like that hurts me. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's fucking annoying. You know what? I just like cat girls and like neko girls are always going to be very, very prevalent in anime. Yeah, right. They're they're like a theme. It's like also like that's how, a shame. How bunny figures are like, you know, a theme or or something that's always going to be a thing in yeah. anime where you. You know, you're gonna have, always have these really expensive bunny figures for certain characters. For sure, but that's they're like just sta- that, they're that's, just staples. But that's like nonsense because well, not like those things are like it's like it's a figure, right? It's not. It's not part of. There's the no show. importance to anything when yeah. it's she's dressed up as a bunny. It's just hot, and you think she's sexy, and uh-huh. I get it. I'm the same way, but this was like a choice that has tie-ins to the plot. Yeah, which is a little yeah. weird. <laughs> so it's like it's like it's like yeah, there's yeah. a bunny Bulma. 
But at no point does Bulma show up in Dragon Ball Z and her yeah, dressed like up as a bunny. And they're doing something. That's no, that's not how she's dressed. Yeah. I feel they like that would it. happen in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, you're not wrong. You know, like there's some other shows that have girls that have like horns. Horns is obviously another yeah. really sure. big trope, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, you know, like devil horns or like yeah. dragon yeah, yeah. horns or things like that, right? Um, and with that, it's like it's it's tied into the story yeah. in, in a, in a mm. way that makes sense. They're either a, a different species or they're like, you know, yeah. they're a hybrid of some kind. You know yeah. what I mean? Like with this one, I agree, dude. Like it felt like you could have had this head tech or these horns Look, or something. Any way you wanted. Like, any way you wanted. And, and they you went, went so ears. on the nose. Cat. Cat ears, Neko girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I know it's a trope, yeah. but it was like, it's, it is so cheap. Yeah. That's the problem <laughs> is that it, it is a cheap, yeah. grab totally. at something that you know is going to get a bunch of fucking <laughs> horny dudes like yeah, yeah Neko girl Neko yeah. girl yeah. no the horns are, are they're not ears yeah they're, they're not, not cat ears, ears. They, yeah. no they're horns yeah yeah. but okay but let, let's let's uh, we're, we're going to dissect this for just a second okay <laughs> but like what other way could they make it slightly like inconspicuous because because they still have to blend into the society right and mm -hmm. put on a hat or some sort of cover mm -hmm. Right, I literally mean, any, any other shape, shape, but cat ears. Yeah, any, any shape. other shape, <laughs> except the exact shape of cat ears. Yeah, I wasn't exactly. <laughs> they, they're like cones. Okay, yeah, they're cones. You're right. Okay, they're cones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. <laughs> they're not cat ears. Yeah. Well, how clever of them? How clever of them? <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to defend this. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I'm cat you. ears. Yeah. It was just a weird, cheap choice. It was a very okay, strange choice. Moving on. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, okay, let's talk about the music real quick. Uh, obviously, there's classic like Gregorian chant situations yeah. on top of the action scenes. That is tension. A, that yeah. is such a huge like musical theme throughout the entire thing. Yeah. yeah. The Gregorian chant. It's kind of the only musical theme, I would say. Yeah. It fits, though. Yeah. yeah. It does. Yeah. It, it I does. find that a lot of, of anime that has like a, like a German title mm -hmm. where they, they bring anything European in, they usually use something like that mm -hmm. musically. Mm -hmm. I like it over action sequences like this. Again, there's a lot of one on one facing down before we fuck each other up scenes. Yeah. It works for those scenes big yeah. time. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. 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 Matches the tension. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Or if anything that's chanty. Yeah. Right. Like, if you're chanting our name, anime shmanime, while you're watching this because you love us so much, you wow. might want to like and subscribe. Sneaky. <laughs> Sneaky. It. You guys should do it. Yeah. <laughs> or tell a friend. Yeah. Or, mm. or what else? You know, or, or all the other good stuff to support us by rating yeah. us. Rating. <laughs> uh, yeah. Write us a review. But yes. Join the Discord. These guys love me so much. We sometimes. do a lot, actually. Yeah, I know you do. I do. Yeah. I don't know why you're saying that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's embarrassed. He feels self-conscious about his, his approach. His, to my, his, his drop my, there? Yeah, yeah, my drop. And my execution sometimes are, are either on point, not so much, or like not so much. Yeah. <laughs> this morning, everybody can give us a pass yeah. on the execution. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, pals. Thanks for <laughs> love sticking you. around. But yeah. yes, anyways. All right. Let's talk about our caricatures. Uh, Mew or Lucy. We'll call her Lucy henceforth. Mm. She's like an emotionless assassin. Just like yeah. murder, murder, murder. Literally like kind of goes dead in the eyes when she goes murder uh -huh. mode. But she's also an actual fucking cat. Yeah, like, which is wild. Uh, the fucking voice to the, I mean, I watch the dub, which angers people, but I don't care. But the fucking yeah. Mew Mew constantly, Mew Mew, with fucking yeah. socks, dude. Yeah, that annoys the shit it's out of me. It's present in the original language yeah, as well. Yeah, it's also amazing. Yeah, amazing. Mew, Mew, Mew. Yeah, <laughs> that is actually a very good impression. Yeah, thanks. That you fucking sucks. It burned to me. into my brain. I watched a lot of the show. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I found that 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 whole cat shit was like a weird. Again, they they write it into the story as it's like a manifestation of her trauma, right? Mm -hmm. She's like blocked out her experience and replaced it with this cat persona. Mm -hmm. But again, it's another on the nose thing because she has the fucking cat ears. So of course yeah. she would go cat. You know what yes. I mean? They didn't write in like, oh, she had a cat or saw a cat or really like identified with cats. And that's mm -hmm. why she went cat. Yeah. She just 
arbitrarily went cat. Look, I, I, I get it. I really can't defend this <laughs> fucking point. <laughs> he, well, we can drop it again now. Yeah, we we can can drop it. It. Wait, choices were made. Yeah, choices we can were drop made. it. The choices were and they yeah, made yeah, the they choice can... that she was a cat. Yeah, because yeah, they could have written it in so that like she had a second personality that was sweeter and like actually could speak. Who knows? Just what, somewhat whatever, human. But yeah. they, the point is, is they went cat. They went cat. But like again, it's it's very apparent in most animes, right? Like yeah. this this is an ongoing trope. Yes. Get used to it, guys. Yep. Get fucking used to yeah, it. Yeah, if you can't do tropes, then this is yeah. the one for you. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh -huh. All right. Let's. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about her. That's kind of it. She's very like, just those two parts. You know, I, yeah. I did feel sad for her though. You feel sad for everyone. Yeah, this sucks for everybody. Yeah. This, uh, everyone's got to have a rough go. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Especially her. Like, yeah. I especially feel the real. Like, she's definitely. I'd say the most heartbreaking. Mm, there's another one no, I feel more there's heartbreaking. There's definitely about. a couple oh, of them. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just remembered. There's one. another one that I, hurts me the most. <laughs> I just remember. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know I exactly just, which one. I just, I probably remember the same one, but we'll save it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Coda, who's like our main dude. He's the har the harem leader. They're yeah. all coming yeah. to him. Uh, he also is a product of trauma, and it's kind of, again, maybe I'm using the wrong term, but a slow build on his arc because you don't know what went down. You know yeah. some shit went down, but you don't know what because he also blocked it out. Mm -hmm. right? You know what I mean? Um, it's, too, it's funny, too, because, like, you know, childhood trauma like that really does, like, you don't remember things exactly sometimes, yeah. right, when you're experiencing things. Yeah. Right? Just even as a kid, like, as adults, too, right, like, when you're trying to remember things back – from when we were kids, you remember them in weird ways and not yeah. f all full details. He lost all the memories. He forgets yeah. ever having met um, Lucy as a kid, which did happen, right? And he forgets even more recently his last interaction with, I guess it wasn't more recently, it was the same time, but when he, when he left, when he la had that last interaction with Yuka, mm -hmm. and he tells her like, oh no, I'm interested in you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then disappears and forgets he ever said that. Mm -hmm. Weird though, because they're cousins. Yep. yep. <laughs> right? I know. And, they, and and like they bring up their cousin all the time, like all the time. Yeah. yeah, and also like right before, yeah, they introduce them as like a romantic item. Like they were literally talking about them being cousins, like a moment before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really want you to know. They, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Choices were made. Choices were made. <laughs> yeah. no, it's like it's this. You know what it is? It, it's the sister complex. It's the. Um, what is that? What complex? do you mean? <laughs> What do, you, are you, are, do you not know the sister I'm complex? Just go, fuck up. Fuck do you mean like people want to fuck their sisters? Yeah, there's animes that always have weird sister complexes yeah. that like. I mean, that's porn now too. It's well, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's all that. Stepsister, whatever, yeah. right? We, I mean, we've said something like that before. What was it? A uh, spy family? Yeah. 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 yeah that had a big one too. The brother, yeah. right? right? But really that one was, your... yeah, that was, yeah, that was a weird one. Yeah. <laughs> but this one, again, that's my only note on Yuka, too, is just how hung up she is on Coda and yeah. how she's his co his cousin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. That's weird mm -hmm. for that to be the only note I have on a character. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm incredibly jealous person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, big time. Well. Yeah. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. insecure. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wild. Okay. Let's talk about uh, Mayu. Oh, the uh... and then I should ask: Do we want to talk about this here, or do we want to save this for when it happens in the plot? Uh... Let's save it. Let's, let's save, save it. it. We can move on from her. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about Nana. Is that how you would say that? I don't remember. It's been a bit. Nana. I think so not yeah, Nana. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna call her Nana. Okay. So okay Nana, in some ways, I feel was the character with the most growth. She goes through a lot of understanding what happened to her, mm -hmm. and in the end, gets to make a choice. Yeah. yeah. About not being a murderer, where no one else really got to make that choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and she ends up getting to decide to like give up murdering for like a nice family life. Yeah. Right. I feel like she she gets the most answers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She gets you know the what I mean? Most, like... About what the fuck she is, what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, and and nobody, a, a lot of the other characters don't get any answers before yeah. their their end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're well, just wondering forever. Yeah. She had she had the um the most protective factor that was given to her, even though it's kind of fucked up. Is that yeah? Because her thing was that. You know, I have a father, and I want to do things for my father. Yeah, right. Even though he's not, she's not actually. Right. right. You find that they try to red herring you, but yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. It works. Sneaky yeah, bastards. Yeah. 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 But but yeah, but that's but it, it's true though. When you like when you have somebody that you can that that gives you a little bit of motivation to do well and do good. Yeah. Right. It, it's a big difference. She, I think she had it on both sides, too, because as she started getting close with, like, the humans, mm -hmm. she started getting, like, you know, motivation to do good from that mm -hmm. side as well, too. Right? Yeah. So 
interesting. There was one character with like a nice arc and a nice ending. Yeah. Insane that it wasn't and the main trauma. character. Yeah, <laughs> really weird. Although yeah. I should say they all kind of look the same. Yeah, like yeah. I had a hard time telling the difference sometimes. Yeah, between really? characters. Yeah, they all had pink hair and horns. Oh. Yeah. No, man. You, Lucy has long hair. Nana has short hair. Yeah, I'm glad the you other one's all in that. a fucking wheelchair. Yeah. But they, but they're, they're changing like one factor of, between each of them to differentiate them. It's yeah. like one's got long hair, one's got short hair, one's yeah. in a wheelchair. It's yeah. like you're just changing one thing. Otherwise, outside of that, when the other it's one, all yeah. the same. When the other and, one, and that's a bummer up. because it, a missed opportunity to, to design three really cool interesting anime girls yeah it's instead we got the three of the same the one same cat but they're yeah. but they're also supposed to be similar because of the the vector like disease i, I get that changing, too right it's I'm like sure a that genetic a, thing as well yeah. too it's it just be. was hard for as be. a viewer for yeah. me personally yeah. to sometimes tell the difference but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh let's get into the plot let's talk about this first episode yeah yes right. Okay, so it opens up with a severed arm and an exploded head immediately. That's the first two things you see. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and then there's someone strapped down. She's wearing a helmet. And she, I, I'm, again, we haven't seen the vector, so I'm like, telekinesis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, if we're going to go back to design and art, the, the helmet it gives me Chainsaw Man vibes. Okay. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Now that I think about it. Immediately, yeah. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I actually, right. I got uh, slightly different vibes, and they're kind of weirder vibes, but um, I don't know if any of you guys remember... Uh, what the first Pokemon movie? Oh okay, yeah. yeah, oh yeah. There's yeah, a yeah. sequence where Giovanni uh, okay. has Mewtwo yeah. Yeah. locked up, and he yeah. has like this metal helmet on. Yeah, I remember and it. And he's hooked up to these cords, and the helmet in this was very much giving me like that Mewtwo yeah. design. Interesting. I don't know when they both came out, but it would yeah, be which was first? Are I they know, nodding yeah. to this? Both of those. I shows? don't know. It'd be knows? crazy yeah. if there was a somehow a Pokemon connection. That would be <laughs> wild. That would be wild. <laughs> so funny. I, yeah. I doubt it. I, Same, but yeah, it was it was just it was a weird thing. It just it just gave it to my brain. Interesting. That's all. All right. Yeah. But that. I feel like that's probably like the real one is is like any kind of Sentai like Power Rangers kind of stuff like they a lot of those old it is old, kind of motorcycle helmet yeah vibe. right yeah yeah the shape yeah. I see what you're saying mm -hmm. uh, okay so the the person who is strapped down breaks free she's completely nude and she's got her helmet mm -hmm. on and she's holding the severed head in her hand as she yeah. walks down the hallway slowly. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, you get that strange, invisible, bloody, ha bloody hand open the door, and you're like, what? What the fuck's going on? You're very confused, but also you're like, oh, this is cool shit. This is crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. We meet like a bunch of random characters as they die. There's like a cute, innocent, clumsy like office assistant who I'm like, okay, I'm a character I should get to know, immediately dead. Yeah. <laughs> immediately. And then her body gets used as a shield. She gets mm -hmm. gets held up and shot at. I'm like, this is where I was like, okay, well, it was graphic and violent. Now it's really fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which was crazy. Um, and then she ends up escaping. A sniper shoots off her helmet, and she falls into the water. So they don't get her. Mm -hmm. She's She escapes. Then we meet, uh, what are their names again? Yuka and uh, Kota. And, Kota. Kota. and they're like, we think at this point, two old friends. We find out cousins. And they're like reunited for college in some random remote town in Japan. And they keep talking about the three of us. And we don't know who the third is yet. They just keep saying that for a long time. Um, and then he reveals that he was mean to the third one and he has feelings about it. But again, we don't know what the fuck went down at all. The naked killer appears on the beach and she like wakes up and she just starts crying like a baby. And her horns trigger him for some reason. He has like a panic mm -hmm. attack when he mm -hmm. sees the horns. And then she, they find out her name's Mew. Yeah, they name her Mew. 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 Well, the, the reason why. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Not in the dub. Oh, no. I don't think. No. I could be wrong. Maybe I just heard it yeah. wrong. Yeah. But right. when she escaped the, the facility, it's because they shot her. Yeah. Right? And then she went into the ocean. And that's then right. That's how she like. Brain damage. Brain yeah. damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Right? She blocked it all out from the brain damage. No, <laughs> she didn't block it out from the brain damage. It She's just suffering like an, because... like an amnesia, like a switch. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Anyway, she pees on the floor. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, this is fucked. Yeah. Um, and they're all pretty nonchalant about this, like, random nude cat person who's just now <laughs> part of the team they're like all right come on yeah so so let's go so again we, we, <laughs> especially when we were wa watching uh, anime from this particular era um 
you know, this is where we go back to like a, you, accepting certain things and gl- glossing over certain plot holes. I mean, <laughs> and, 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 sure. and semantics. Sure. To, uh, allow yourself to enjoy the rest. If you just, but if you want me to believe these characters are real, are, are believable in any yeah. way, shape, or form, have them react to the fact that they're, there's a naked cat now. <laughs> Living with Pissing them. on their floor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and not just that it literally doesn't phase them at all. Yeah, <laughs> at all. Anyways, yeah. you just accept it. They take her home. <laughs> she ends up uh, <laughs> snapping the keep sh- the keepsake shell that he has. Yeah. Yes, and that's from his sister, and he f- loses his fucking mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and this is when we start to think, okay, the sister was probably the third. We don't know, but I'm mm-hmm. in my head. I'm like, okay, they're giving us a story here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, where are we? We meet some crazy assassin dude who's hired by the scientists, and he's an asshole, and he's slapping the office admin around. Uh, and um, what happens? An armed militia finds them on the beach in the rain. Mm-hmm. She flips into murder mode and fucks them all up yes. out of nowhere. Um, and she gets the assassin dude who's there, too. She gets him down with her invisible arms, and this is where we learn they have an exact two-meter radius. <laughs> yes. Quite exactly. And she takes his eyes out. Yeah, that doesn't kill him. Doesn't kill him, and he's an important yeah. plot key or plot he comes device. Back. Yeah, he comes right? back a lot. Yeah. Uh, after that weird fucking attack scene, we're back at home in cat mode, and she's a, of course has a wet t-shirt, which of course he has to change her. Yes, there's a lot of this. Is awkward. There's a, a lot of this. It's it's again fan service <laughs> at its weirdest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess I have to That's take it. this wet you shirt it, off my yeah. naked cat You nailed girl. it with one sentence. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, while he's changing her, Yuka yeah. walks in and has a jealous fit, like, a, and it's awkward. Yeah. Um, and then the same later when um, when Mew or Lucy makes him grab her boob. Yeah. Yeah. Because she doesn't know how to be a human. But she's, he's like, here you go. And it's happening. And she walks in, which is fucking weird. Uh, and then uh, we meet another horned murderer who calls the scientist dude Papa. Yes. And that's like the end of the episode. And we're like, okay, weird. Mm-hmm. Um, then we get a Lucy versus Nana in a cemetery phantom limb battle. Yes. And we find out that Na- Nana's vectors have more range. Yeah. They so, can reach longer. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I feel like we're jumping like a little bit because the reason why uh, Nana is fighting Lucy is because the fucking – you know, SWAT team died and like got yeah. crushed, and so they need somebody else. That's right. To do so it, they send right? out another Diclonius. Yeah, exactly, and that Diclonius is the one that like we kind of think is that scientist dude's daughter. daughter. Yeah, she's calling him Papa. Yeah, she's like right? the favored. It's yeah. clear. That's, yeah, that's Kurama. Is yeah. the is the doctor? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the scientist or whatever. Not okay. doctor. Yeah, I'll probably call him Papa. Yeah, Papa. Pa- Papa. Um, I like Papa. Big Papa. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, while they're fighting in the in the cemetery, there's like a homeless girl and her dog, and they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time again mm-hmm. because they were actually there on the beach when Lucy fucked up the assassin dude. Yeah. They were watching that go down as well, too. Put your hands in the air. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> it works, actually. It works. <laughs> Papa, Papa. <laughs> Mikey's broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, Lucy oh. ends up fucking <laughs> Nana, Nana up. Yeah, it was a good fight. It was that a was, good. That she, was a really good. And fight, in the yeah. end, she fucking severs off all her arms, legs, and fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like slices her to bits. Yeah. And Papa comes in and scoops her up in his arms. Mm-hmm. Um, and it turns out not only is he is she the favored, but that doesn't mean he, he wasn't running violent and bloody tests on her mm-hmm. for years and years and years. And we get a little bit of that, a taste of that backstory yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, Kota grows his harem by taking in the homeless girl, and she becomes a little bit of an interesting character um, yeah. because she like can't accept that she's being included, and she runs away for some dumb re- reason. Yeah. And then we get her bonkers backstory. Yeah, uh, which honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, ruined the whole fucking show for me. <laughs> really, I I can't watch that shit, dude. Yeah. yeah, I can't watch that shit. I know it hurts my heart. Yeah, yeah. it makes me angry yeah. at you <laughs> <laughs> for making me watch it. Uh, I wish I didn't have to watch it, but now we have to talk about it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Like she, she's a great character, though. There's a lot of development around her, and there's a lot of. Um, you know, you really sympathize for her and empathize for her. Yeah, you can and like, it's, she's she's a good character. I mean, yeah. 
<laughs> it's sad though, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts me to know that she had to go through that. <laughs> yeah. This, is, this, this, by the way, this is this is the one that I overlooked. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. is the one I was talking about too. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, anyways, we want to just talk about it real quick. She was getting sure. full on molested. Yeah. And yeah. raped by her. Uh, uh, was it her dad? Yeah. No. I can't her... remember. Uncle. I think it was her uh, stepdad, stepdad. Yeah. mom's yeah. boyfriend, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Anyways, it was gross, and the scenes where they depicted it were gross, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was real ugly. Yeah, and and it's and it's like on a serious note, it's so fucked up, like because it's like it it happens in the real world too, right? Like, yeah. And, like I've worked with those kinds of kids, but for sure, absolutely. But she is definitely the most endearing one out of the bunch. I mean, and, you want her to find happiness more yeah, than you want anyone else to. Exactly. And, that's and she I does think, in yeah, the end, and, and so that I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's a nice, happy ending. It just sucks. I had to watch yeah, it go down. Yeah. Um, I mean, the motivation of running away, too, like we were talking about before, like a lot of those uh, emotions are probably just feelings of wanting to not understand a and not understanding how these people can be nice to her yeah um because it's strange yeah or no she's not used to it and also she's in survival mode right for sure Mm -hmm. when you're in survival mode like that you're like you're always gonna kind of second guess you're gonna be hyper vigilant you're gonna be like well you know maybe i can probably i should be alone like because i know i'm the i don't deserve this either i don't deserve this or i can't trust you so you know i can only trust myself there's a lot of feelings a lot there's a lot going on there Mm -hmm. not to mention like there's this like her dog yeah um when they like find out the owner comes on the beach it's like oh that's my dog i'm like you're a fuck that owner was a bitch yeah mm-hmm. i hated yeah. that owner i think i hated her more than anybody else in the <laughs> oh show God. that's too good man like don't take away her dog yeah yeah it's the only thing she has yeah she needs that dog yeah it's not your dog anymore yeah. lady <laughs> i agree uh, what i wanted after having seen that scene was lucy to go and like massacre a prison full of pedos or something and mm-hmm. i'd be like okay that would have made me feel good yeah, yeah. yeah but you don't get that no you don't get you that just get sadness yeah. just pain, a broken pain. human yeah. Yeah. yeah and then a little bit broken yourself yeah. yeah anyways they end up finding her and they're a happy family again pretty quickly yeah. um where are we here okay some professor dude we meet is like the son of the big wig scientist and he's trying to mate with lucy it mm-hmm. turns out he's also a diclonius this was like a weird side story it was of a character i didn't need yeah professor kakuzawa yeah and he yeah. dies quickly <laughs> lucy just kills him immediately yeah, yeah. which honestly good because he's a piece of shit. uh but it was just very strange well i think side the, story yeah the idea was to make like a pure blood diclonius yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah and that's gonna that was gonna be their motivation to make uh, a new human race, right? Right, and and so yeah. I mean, was he the only male Diclonius we saw the whole show? No, his father. You oh, find okay. out, yeah. find that out later. But oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And that was his like you know dark secret and dark motivation. Yeah, right. And all this, and all this. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that guy's dead. Lucy kills him, and on the way back home, Lucy kills a random girl on the street, but by accident. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in this, for some reason, we get like a very clear shot of her undies. Which yes. was very odd and strange. In this though, is it at this point, it, no, is this it's not. Strange? It's just I just don't want okay. it anymore. I yeah. don't want it any more of it. <laughs> fan anyways, service. early days of fan service. Yeah, the point of that scene is that yeah. she can't control it, um, even when she's in murder mode. You know what I mean? You think she's this stone cold kind of calculated assassin, but she's not. No. That's the thing. Uh, we find out the assassin dude who lost his eyes is still alive, and he's now with like the scientists, and they're going to rehabilitate him. Uh, but to do it, they're going to take his balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll bring you back to life. We'll make you ready to go again. But like, yeah. we're gonna have to remove those. Yeah, yeah. for no reason at all. You can't, have, the, you can't have kids. You can't, you can't have, have kids. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they they uh, stupidly they do all the rehab first before they remove the balls, and he gets the fuck out of there. He gets he gets his balls. Yeah. He's like, thanks, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, was such a weird character. A weird character. Like, yeah, a super weird character. And yeah. I understand the plot mechanism that he serves. Yeah. But I don't know, man. It I, was weird to keep him alive. Yeah, it really was. Well, he's a he's a wild card because yeah. he could take anybody's side. He's a lone wolf. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He, he can. He's working for the scientists. Sure, okay. But then at one point, what happens next is he meets Mayu on the beach. Yeah. And has a little interaction with them because he kind of saves her. Or yeah. she kind of saves him, rather, and he he yeah. gives her a favor. That's right. A yeah. phone, the they, phone they, number. They work a little deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but which is that, that scene was kind of stupid. I agree. Like, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. Because it was like, hey, uh, oh, I'm gonna kill you because I know you fucking know this uh, Lucy now. Yeah. It's like, can I fu- put 
call in my favor? And he's like, damn, yeah, you can. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Reminds me of like Austin Powers. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Will Ferrell. <laughs> damn, three times. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like that, because you're right. It's like some unwritten rule he has yeah. to obey, but like yeah. his, his code of honor. honor yeah. Yeah. Give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> Bonkers. Yeah. Um, in that scene, though, not Nana shows up, and the assassin starts fucking owning her, yeah. and she snaps and goes, kill. She's, she wants to kill everyone now. Yeah. She's losing her mind. But the, this is, these are all children with trauma as well, too, yeah, right? Yeah. So they're reacting in ways that are, like, just bonkers, man. Yeah. Kill everyone. Um, she ends up, like, removing her arm and launching at him. There's, like, a thing she, she can do, because I guess they're part robot, too. No, 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 no. So, okay, so what you're forgetting here is is when... Oh, she got all her arms sliced off. She you're got right. all her arms sliced off. Then she got the same kind of tech that was put on the assassin, dude. Yeah. And so they, can, they kind of pop on and off every so often. Yeah. And what happened and how we got to this point with her was when she failed her mission to kill Lucy... Yeah. Um, Papa was supposed to kill her. That's right. Right? Because she was a failure. But instead, Papa had feelings. And set her free. And set her free with a whole bunch of mo that. money that yeah. she didn't know what to you do with it. So she yeah. burns it so to stay warm. So she burns it to stay warm. Yeah. <laughs> and she, it was a lot of fucking money. Yeah, dude. She burns a lot of it, too. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. but, but you know what? Papa, why don't you just give her a fucking 30-second conversation on what yeah. you're giving her? I mean, yeah. that'd be all right. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's you Papa's know. fault. It's money. It's yeah. money. When you go to a store... Yeah. You can buy food. Yeah. You give Hold them up the this. bill and a lighter? Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Fire bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't burn yeah. the money. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the, the assumptions are like crazy. Well, he does have a habit of not telling her things. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that no tracks. Kidding. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyways, she gets shot. It's a whole thing. Uh, and then... Well, because Bando, like, the guy... The assassin the, dude? The blind yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He, he sees her and thinks that it's Lucy. That's yeah. right. Because so did I. Yeah, that sentence yeah. was really weird. The blind guy and sees Lucy. Well, they fixed him. They fixed him. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a funny You're sentence. You're right. It's a funny sentence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so anyways, May, May, after this whole scene when she's burning the money, Mayu finds her in the cemetery burning money. And she, apparently Nana's like, I kind of just want a friend. And Mayu's yeah. like, all right, I'll do that. And she yeah. ends up telling Nana about Mew. Mm -hmm. And bring, she's like, oh, I know another one like you. Come on yeah. home. Not knowing that this girl wants to murder her yeah. friend. Basically. Yeah. Well, because they can sense each other. And that was a mechanism like when she first tried to go yeah. kill Lucy. Yeah. She could sense her because... She was being Lucy, not Mew. That's and when right. She's in Mew form. She can't be sensed. She can't be sensed. That's right. Yeah. Forgot and about this that. This is this is some good tension building. I thought at this part. It like, was. I, yeah. I was. I was actually a little bit like, oh fuck, what the yeah. hell's about to happen right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Not to mention like like um, Nana becomes a kind of a wild card because you see her changing a little bit, mm -hmm. and you know she wants to kill Mew, but also you don't know how that's going to go. Right? Yeah. There's, you don't know there's what's that happen. internal struggle of like. Wait, you're not. You are Lucy, but you're not Lucy. Yeah. And you're not being fucking like a murderous rampage. Yeah. And she's also like, girl. I don't know yeah. if I want to be a murderous rampage crazy yeah. girl anymore. I kind of just want a friend and burn some money and stay warm by the fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a lot. There's a lot of ways it could go here. Yeah. Well, yeah. she had a lot of needs of like. Uh, compassion and, and yeah. caring and affection that she wanted from Papa that she didn't get, and that's the need that she's trying to look to fill. She got right? just enough to be obsessed with getting it all the time. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, so she that gets brought home. Yeah. When she gets home, uh, she walks in the door, and for some reason, Mew is just groping up on Yuka's boobs Yep. in this scene. And Nana sees her and goes in immediate fight mode, mm -hmm. and immediately Koda steps in and slaps the shit out of Nana. He's like, nah! Not in my harem. <laughs> <laughs> right? Immediately. Yeah. Um, then uh, Lucy fills in her backstory a bit after this. So we find out she was like bullied in school, obviously, because mm -hmm. she had these weird ass horns. Uh, and she, this is another fucking story, dude, that I wish I didn't have to see unfold because she finds a dog and a little girl who yeah. befriends her. Yeah. And it's like cute because this little bullied girl who was sad mm -hmm. gets a win. But you know this is not going to go well. No. And you know this friend is going to betray her. And she fucking does. She yeah. tells those asshole kids about the puppy. And they literally beat it to death. Yeah. They beat a puppy to death. Uh, yeah. Those, those, hard, those scenes are really hard. Anytime there's like animal abuse like that where like people are just just picking on an animal like a cat or a dog. Yeah. Like, like well, it's like you always want to. I don't care if humans die in a movie. Like, just don't kill the dog. Well, here's the thing. When humans <laughs> yeah. die in a movie, in this show specifically, it, they're not helpless. They're yeah. fighting against Holding people. Holding guns. Yeah. Exactly. 
And but like it's when there's a helplessness, dude. Yeah. It's the same with the child abuse, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the sexual yeah, abuse exactly. arc we saw earlier. Yeah. There's a helplessness there that yeah. makes it sad. I mean, there's more than just helplessness. You but also when, see why I picked this initially. Yeah, this was a, this, this was, was the, the one. Th- well, this was one that was in my head you as know the what worst I mean? one. Yeah. yeah, until I remembered the that other was one. Was the worst one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah. like both like ten out of ten bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what we get in this one that we didn't get in the other one is she fucking kills them all. Some revenge. Yes. immediately she murders yeah. them, and like that's good as a viewer because you want them to die. Mm-hmm. Yes. but as a character, that fucks her up and launches her more into just yeah. Like melancholy, not knowing who she is. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I also at this point was really, really feeling like the overwhelming, like edge lordiness to it. Mm. Like Killing having a dog. Like, like a, a, these boys beat a puppy to death in a fucking bloody pulp. Like, her it's, one it's friend like, just straight up turns tail and betrays her. It, it, it was yeah. like yeah. it was like accidentally. There, there are again, yeah. there are more like tactful ways to accomplish that story yeah. beat. Yeah, mm-hmm. that aren't so overwhelmingly edge lordy. You know what I mean? It, mm-hmm. it reminds me of back of like uh, Made in Abyss type stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want to yeah. you want to introduce danger or strife or or scariness or terror, but yeah. like, do we need the close up shot of the girls peeing her pants? Yeah, like, mm-hmm. do we need this to be a puppy being beaten to death? Yeah, you know what I mean? Could the yeah. puppy maybe have just been hit by a car, or you know what I mean? Somebody riding their bike, and then the kids don't care, and then the, you know there are other. Could it have been an accident caused s- by assholes? Slightly edgy. Slightly yeah. less edgy ways where you still understand that this was traumatizing to her. But then then it wouldn't drive home the point. Because I like you, you brought up Made in Abyss, right? Because Made in Abyss is like this um, era's, you know, elfin lead, right? I mean, for pain. For pain. And yeah, suffering right? for right? Of children. Because when the time this came out, right, this is probably one of the most edgiest things that were out there. That's what they were trying to do, trying to That's go what I'm for, saying. right? That's what I don't like. Yeah, <laughs> I just same. don't like it. Same. I don't yeah. like it. See, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you're a degenerate. I am. You a... like degen shit. I like degen shit. I also just love watching crazy stuff happen. You do. That's true. <laughs> that is true, though. And yeah. I like it to a point too. But there's, yeah. I have lines I think that are closer than yours. Yours are a bit further. So yeah, what you can tolerate. My, my it's because my fucking neuron receptors are all fucking fried. There you <laughs> go. So I need the craziest. But hey, things. you're not alone, dude. Because yeah. of this, this show's popular. Right, and a yeah. lot of people love this shit. Well, it's like the whole genre yeah. dedicated to people who love this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, and like we said in our Made in Abyss episode too, right? Like the whole idea of that is to really push the envelope in in that way. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get back into the plot because we're still in her backstory. Mm-hmm. We find out that she had met Coda back then, mm-hmm. uh, and we get to see that unfold. So he's cool to her, but she's still untrusting, rightfully so, because she's been fucking scorned. Yeah, You know what I mean? She also might kill people because she can't control that. She actually is kind of murdering randoms while chilling with him. Like There's like shit going down. It's, it's weird. Well, yeah, because... When when the puppy thing happened and she killed the pe- other people in the group home, uh, or the kids in the group home, that's when she really like comes into her power. Yeah, and learns about it, and yeah. then, well, she killed everybody, so she can't stay there. Right. So she just goes out on the streets. Goes out on the streets, and the only way to survive is to go into someone's house, kill she's them, unassuming because she's a little girl. Yeah. Oh, hi, little girl. Can I help you? Yeah. Ah. And then she knows she can't stay there for a long time, so she has to move yeah. to the next house. And meanwhile, she's waking up in the morning every day and going to hang out with Coda. Yeah. Like, her nights are like this, her days are like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is wild. And then they have a very important conversation yeah. where Coda brings up that he has a cousin. Mm-hmm. That's right. And she gets jealous. And, but he, yeah. he, he... Well, he first... Doesn't mention the gender of the cousin. Yeah. He doesn't even say cousin. He said he says maybe fr- he says I'm taking someone to the fest, someone else to yeah, the I festival, can't not her. Yeah, it might be, might be different. Yeah, I think actually he said because she asked him outright, "Is it a girl?" And he yeah. goes, "No, it's a boy. no." Yeah, he lies. Yeah. To no, her. it's a boy. Yeah, yeah. And she chokes him because she's mad. Right? She well, finds out. She finds, finds out, out and chokes him. Yeah. yeah. Um, we skipped over. There is a scene where they go to the. Zoo. They have an, a nice day. They go to the zoo, they're have, drinking slushies, they're holding hands, and there's yeah. moments where she's looking at him with like watery eyes, like, am I, is this real life? Yeah. Like, am I getting this? Mm-hmm. There's also a weird underage nudity scene with the two of them, like swimming in a river. Oh, yeah, because uh-huh. they got yeah. kind of, they, it's, yeah. It was weird. Yeah. But, but yeah, you're, the order of things is, is when you're, what you're talking about is a little weird. So, so it is the, weird. Um, <clears throat> So what happened is, yeah, you get that stuff first. They build that relationship. They yeah. go to the theme park, and they have, like, a fun time or the zoo. And 
you know, I mean, it's innocent enough, yeah. right? Like, you know, two kids learning how to be friends totally. and, and, and be together. And it's when he says, oh, I can't go to, you know, hang out with you today because yeah. I'm going to the, you know, the festival. Right. And then we're leaving. My family's leaving. Right. And then that's when she asks her the the question. He yeah. says it's a boy. Yeah. And then she finds out. She goes to the festival, too, and sees, and them. sees them together. That's right. And like, you lied to me. And then all of a sudden she starts killing people at the festival. Yeah, a bunch of people. A bunch of people. Some of them are assholes. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, some of them are assholes. And then she like follows them to the station because everybody like r his family yeah. ran away. Yeah, doesn't know that it was her killing everybody. That's later. You're getting yeah. you're you're getting ahead because they don't give you the whole story here. Yeah, they do that after. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We can we can get into it or not. Yeah. Another thing that happens though, um, she actually I think she tells him that she kills. Mm -hmm. Because she asks him to kill her, mm -hmm. if he can't stop, if he if she can't stop it, yeah, and she has a moment. Like, what? what? Yeah, yeah. And he's real confused, yeah. real fucked up, um, and that's I think why also ditching her for the festival. He's like, this is getting weird. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is getting weird. Anyways, mm -hmm. very complicated. Back in the real timeline, we're back at the house. Uh, this time, Lucy attacks Nana, and Nana figures out that Mew for the first time. Mew, Mew, and Lucy aren't the same person. She realizes she's like something's off. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like when she's new, she's not the person I'm supposed to kill or supposed to hate. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and then once she realizes that, she's like, okay, I'll, I'll move in. I'm, I'm part of the harem now, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm part of the harem. I'm part of it now. Uh, yeah. Okay, where are we here? We get a backstory on the relationship between the dead professor and Papa, who were like best buddies, both working on the Diclonius together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Papa had to shoot one to save the professor because he it was gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, they he's gotta he's realizes that he oh you already shot one, so you'll just shoot them all now. When we have to kill them, you're the kill them guy. Yeah, yeah this is the early days of the yeah. the experiments. Totally. And they're looking for patient zero or some sort of origin to the mutation to stop yes. it because they don't know how to stop it. Mm -hmm. Um while they're experimenting on them and like kind of making them into super soldiers, he ends up, yeah, becoming the Diclonius assassin. And of course, his baby it's comes like, out horned. Yeah. Of course that's going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, considering we just watched him kill a ton of children. Yeah. <laughs> we just watched that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he he he's really fucked up about having to kill children yeah. at the beginning, right? Because And all of that stuff. I like, mean, same. I would yeah. be. And then he just becomes desensitized to it because yeah. he doesn't want other people to have to to kill children so he's taking on that responsibility yeah. that ends up making him so cold and like for sure detached and then he has a horned baby and all the realizations of what's going to go down and go into his head he's like we're going to torture it mm -hmm. we're going to experiment on it and then i'm going to have to murder it and it's my child yeah then his wife dies yeah, yeah. And his wife catches him yeah trying like trying to kill it yeah and then she kills yeah she dies. She dies. And then he immediately goes, well, I'm going to keep this one alive. I'm going to yeah. keep the baby alive. I've yeah. resolved. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we meet her a little bit in the future. They call her 35. Mm -hmm. She has way more vectors. She's a way more stronger Diclonius than uh -huh. any of the others, of course. Yeah. And His this daughter is, would yeah, be. Yeah. This is where we, we the, the red herring resolves, right? Because yeah. up till that point, we thought Nana was that's right was his, yeah. his, his daughter. And the, it really is like a what moment? And yeah. you have to start piecing together like, wait a minute. Yeah. What's the relationship with Nana then? <laughs> and you don't know yet. You haven't been given yeah. it. Yeah. Um, we find out that his daughter, 35, has a bomb implanted in her. Mm -hmm. That's the, the experiment or whatever that they did on her. She comes out of the confinement that she's in, naked, of course, mm -hmm. with a fucking hose coming out of her vagina. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that was fucked up, dude. Dude, yeah, come on. <laughs> and she ends up going on a murder spree. Yeah, attack, and they they attack her and hold her down. And when she's not murdered, this is the thing: when they're not murdering, the children are children. Yes, right. And so she's being held down and attacked, and she's screaming. Papa or daddy or whatever, yeah. st stop! Why is this happening to me? And I'm crying. Like, yeah. why do I have to watch this yeah. over and over and over again? Well, she, she, because like at, since birth, she was held uh, captive because yeah. Papa wanted to keep her alive, obviously, and makes yeah. a deal with the head CEO. Yeah, and, and so like you have this kid who's never actually met her real father, has um like a pseudo mother. Yeah, 
who's just another doctor and it's like, oh, we think that she's going to be fine. Like, she'll listen to me. But this whole time, you know, she's just been stewing in yeah. her loneliness. And, you know, I you can murder see- the fuck out of that when I get out of here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, under trying to understand her powers, no social skills. You know, they've, they've restrained her. So she her actual physical body doesn't have any muscles. Yeah, she's a tiny little... yeah. Wheelchair waif, yeah, she's got right. Nothing. So, so of course she's gonna have some weird, fucked up like psyche. Yeah, and she does. Yeah. Um, what we find out too is they're gonna use her as a last resort kind of shit mm-hmm. in order to hunt down Lucy because nothing else is working. Yeah. They can't yeah. find Lucy. They can't get her. They lost the uh, the assassin. They lost an entire militia. They lost Nana. Mm-hmm. Everyone who they send out, they, it doesn't come back with Lucy. Mm-hmm. So they're like, well, I guess we use the one with the bomb and we go and get her. Yeah. Uh, so 35 is now out into the world uh, with obviously like a retinue of people and she runs into Nana and immediately tears her the fuck apart again yeah. rips all the arms and legs off <laughs> yeah, again. That, was, that yeah. was the bridge scene yeah, the yeah bridge scene. that was a very sick scene that yeah, was crazy because not only does she tear her apart but then she starts fucking with her yeah and laughing about it and enjoying it she's yeah. fucking psycho dude yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah it's crazy yeah um, and then Nana does something to her and like removes her ability to use her vectors. Yeah. I don't remember what so, she does. Yeah, so Nana has the power to, to use her vector to get into uh, another dichotomy or Diclonius. Diclonius's head. Yeah. She can literally just reach in with her vectors yeah. and like yeah. switch it off. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah. So she does that there <laughs> and then dives in the water. Yeah. And yeah, 35's vector vectors don't work. Then yeah, Lucy and- shows up. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what were you gonna say? No, but you see that, but we you see that way before already because That's happened. Already. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah. So in the fight, the first fight with Lucy and and Nana, yeah, she does that to to escape. Oh, uh, right. Okay. And then you find out that, you know, it's not like a permanent like switch. It's like a temporarily. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so Lucy shows up uh, on this bridge scene, and thirty five can't sense her because again, she can be sensed when she's Lucy and not when she's new, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then Lucy sees the scientist lady and fucks her up. This was 35's pseudo mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lucy murders the fuck out of her. Yeah. And Coda's standing there and he watches it happen. Mm-hmm. And he immediately remembers everything. Everything. Yes. Which yeah. is wild to Full see him go PTSD through. Full PTSD flashback. flashback. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> wild yeah. realization. Everything yeah. came back. Yeah. Uh, and, and what a realization. Dude, yeah. totally. And he's now, he's like, I, I like terrified. You know, I've been hanging out with this person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What yeah. the fuck? How did this person even end up back in my life? All mm. these feelings, um, and other shit starts showing up on the on the beach because on the um, bridge because Papa shows up, and mm. for some reason he was with the assassin guy in a boat. Yeah, because like he, they boated there together. Yeah, because he was trying to go back to save Nana and yeah try to like reason with his daughter. Yeah, after he found out they sent thirty five out. Basically, yeah. he's like, I gotta stop this fucking yeah. shit. Um, this is he, all fucked up. It's all, it, yeah, it's all, everything's <laughs> coming to a head here, right? Yeah. So he finds Nana, and they're reunited, and there's like a cute scene with them. Uh, Lucy uh, like is fighting the assassin, decides to leave him alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, she says something like, "It's the last you'll ever see of me," because I think her goal. She's like, "I'm just, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking out of here." Uh, but then she has to fight 35, and 35's vectors are back now, and uh, Lucy loses a horn, and that's a big deal. Mm-hmm. It like gets shot off her head or something like that. Uh, okay, we're getting close to the end here. 35 ends up meeting her dad, uh, and he, immediately upon meeting her, she aims a gun at her, mm-hmm. yeah. and she cries. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I only ever wanted a family. And yeah. he's like, stop, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, Don't like, do this to I me. I should have done this <laughs> yeah. at the beginning, but I love yeah. you. And she's confused why he's with Nana and yeah. not helping her. He's yeah. like, but, like, I'm your daughter. Yeah, and, yeah. like, why Who's is she that? calling you Papa? Yeah. yeah, right. And why are you shooting a gun at me and standing there with that one and not killing that one? Yeah. Like, yeah. What's happening here, right? And he realizes he's like, but that thought right. process makes yeah a lot of sense, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And he realizes he's like, no, you're right. I I've made horrible mistakes. Mm-hmm. I did not handle this well. And so he goes to her, picks her up, hugs her. They both cry together and walk off into the distance together. Mm-hmm. And when they get far enough away, they detonate the bomb. Ba-boom. And they're both mm-hmm. dead. Yeah. Uh, and Nana wa- ha- is Which, watching it happen. Yeah. And so she's feeling. She just watched her dad yeah. ditch her. For her, his actual daughter. And then yeah. suicide and then bomb. Di- suicide bomb. <laughs> <laughs> the levels yeah. of trauma building yeah. for the characters in this show. And this is the part where like, I really love that. Because yeah. I was like, okay, he, this is like, 
you know, you want them to to redeem themselves in some way, yeah. right? Especially, you know, with a character like Papa who has a lot of comp- complexities as an adult and, yeah. and his own traumas, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was a, like, okay, I back you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he did the right thing in the end there. Yeah, he, you know what I mean. Uh, and I also like, how do you live with yourself when you killed that many children? You know what I mean. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You absolutely. There's no coming back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, at the end, we're at the end now. Mm-hmm. Lucy and Coda come to some odd understanding. I don't know if they explain a lot how he gets over his PTSD. He just kind of does. He doesn't really get over it. Yeah. yeah. She basically explains that she like what she is. She's like, I was yeah. born to eliminate humanity. Sorry. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, okay, I love you, and I don't want you to kill anymore. And I think that's part of it, too. He's like, I don't want yeah. you to kill anyone anymore, so, like, we'll like, just, we'll get over it. His, we'll fix his, it together. His view of Lucy is of that girl yeah. when he was a kid. Totally. Right? Like, he doesn't know, all you the know, killing. alt Lucy, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so that's that's who she he's kind of like feeling for yeah oh we did skip over the part where they do reveal that n- not only did she blow up the at the fair but then she also killed his family i was gonna say the, the, that the train. Was, that was, i was the like train, the train scene. yeah yeah i was like waiting for that i was yeah. like that's yeah. a big moment yeah that's, yeah that's the part where we where does it get revealed about. i can't remember where in I, the show it's oh, been yeah. a while since i watched it yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah i uh, it, like i think it might have been the flashback i think so too right when and, when, uh, when he sees her kill and yeah. he has all the PTSD. That's when flashbacks. he goes back. I think yeah. so, yeah. Because there was a few scenes throughout where he would have a little quick flash to being on a train. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It would just be for a few seconds. They yeah. would be like, he's on a train. It's blurry to him, though. He's having a hard time kind of yeah. piecing it together. You yeah. don't realize it's it's the trauma right. that yeah. is blacking it out for him, right? right? To try to protect him <laughs> from yeah. what he remembers. Yeah. 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 And that was another scene where I was just like, this is just edgelord fucking jerk offery. So much. Like, <laughs> truly. They Come stack, on, they stack yeah. the fucking trauma Come on. on. Yeah, so hard they, yeah. on each character. They stack it. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot. Um, okay, after basically they tell each other that it's going to be okay, and they mm-hmm. love each other, and they want to kind of stay together. Uh, she then has to face off against an entire fucking army, mm-hmm. and in the process loses another horn, mm-hmm. uh, and then she disappears. Like she's gone. Mm-hmm. We don't see her for a while. Nana finally comes back to the house, decides she's going to give up on murdering. So we have. Four people now living in the house, right? Mm-hmm. Essentially. And one dog. And one, one dog. dog. And, and Lucy a- out in the world somewhere or dead, we don't know. Okay, so there's a so here's a couple things that we need to talk about. Okay. First, yeah. And and I and I know, like I say, accept it a lot. So I am accepting it. I just need to mention it. Sure. Right? Because they get permission from um what's the kid's name again? Uh the little girl? Mayu. The dog? Mayu. Mayu, yeah, Mayu. They get permission from Mayu's mom to like adopt That's right. them. Adopt her. That's right. They call her on the yeah, phone. Yeah, and say it's okay that she doesn't come back. Yeah. And I'm like, these aren't these are like kids. Yeah. You know, like they're not like really adults. Well, they're yet. in college. They're they yeah. come back to be in college, right? Yeah. But even yeah. still, like while all this is happening, like yeah. you're, like you're. You're still not an adult, really. At They're like probably 19, 19 or something, yeah. right? Like, and yeah. they, get, they have a whole house. They, <laughs> yeah. Remember, they have that house, and it, they just have to clean it. Yeah. yeah, and that's why they get to live there, right? Yeah. And so, so I'm like, okay, that's fucked up. That's yeah. yeah, right. And then the other thing that we did gloss over this whole time is that there was a lot of foreshadowing and uh, uh, and an obsession with Lucy and the clock, the grandfather clock. Oh, yes. yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Right? So the grandfather clock, she's trying to fi- fix it, fix it, because it's just not working. Yeah. And then we get a scene at the end. It's working. Where it's working, and then you have a knock at the door. A knock at the door. No, w- Wanta barks. The dog barks. Yeah, the barks, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, somebody, a knock, and, and then, then there's... Yeah. Well, yeah. You and see then a silhouette you, of you someone the at the gate. You see silhouette at the gate. Yeah. But yeah, Wanta barks, and they're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And that's... And you don't get to find out. No. no because that's the The end. implication is very heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Very heavy. <laughs> I mean, or it's the assassin dude, and he's like, ah, fuck, I'm going to kill all uh, I'm going to kill all of them. <laughs> yeah. Somehow it's a silhouette of a small girl. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, the fucking end. That's the fucking end. Yeah. yeah. Could it be her at the end there? That would be wild. If she's grown her muscles and come back. No, she died. Well, we, but I'm just saying, could you imagine if it I was her? I can imagine a lot of options. Uh, yeah. <laughs> could be anything. But that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's Anyways, the fucking end. That's the end. That we did it. We the got end. there. Yeah. Yeah. Jory, did you like this? You never really said off the top. Like, yeah. I mean, generally like, or generally like there. I guess you can just give your score and have that be your. Yeah. You know, I had a rough start. To, to yeah. This. I mean, yeah. I, I gave it a, a four out of ten. 
A four. There's a lot of cool uh, shit in this show. I guess, yeah. The, I, I accept your four because of the trauma. Thank you. That's the hardest part, to be yeah. honest with you. And again, like, how how easy, like, the path they took to just stack trauma, how easy it was to see what they were doing mm-hmm. when they wrote this show. Yeah. They're like, we're just going to, like, the edgelord thing. Yeah. It's so obvious. And yeah. that hurt. That hurts the show a bit for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's one thing to be ed- edge lord and do it well, mm-hmm. and I'm impressed at the execution. Mm-hmm. It's another thing to have cat girls. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. then dogs murdered and like shit like that. That's just heavy handed as far as edge lord goes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, I agree. I would. I'd probably be generous and then give it a five. I, w- oh! I would say that like it. <laughs> Come on, it, Mikey. <laughs> It, it it did some cool things and it yeah. had some very cool moments and I think yeah we just with a few different as we say choices made yeah um, then this it gets a few more points and maybe is up around like a seven or an eight for me but like mm. the, it loses points for the art and again for like I agree with the heavy handed edge lord shit got, mm-hmm. like I was over it very quickly yeah um, and it doesn't always do it for me that kind of mm-hmm. stuff so yeah I'll go I'll go five uh, how about you Mikey. Okay, what about the mouse score? Mikey, how, what's your score? <laughs> what's your score, Mikey? Yeah. <laughs> the edgelord himself. <laughs> my, yeah. The edgelord. Um, so my score is like a 7.75. Seven, okay. Yeah. Because, like, again, you got to consider this. When this first came out, you know, it was intense. It is wild, really. And, like, you know, that what first episode is awesome. Mm-hmm. I really loved it. And I was hoping more of that um, right from the beginning and can kind of continued through done in a really you know well executed way but there was a lot of like stuff that was like okay come on yeah right like, like, of, ah, okay, come, on. <laughs> yeah, like, come on come on i agree <laughs> yeah right and yeah. so so i give it a seven five all right i give it a seven five it's, it's a it's a good watch i think it's good especially if you watch it in the context of when it came out because it is still a product of its time Right, like I don't think like if you watch this now, like you guys did, yeah, right, and especially watching the amount of anime that you guys have watched already, even like you, Jordy, yeah, right, it is hard to kind of watch because there's so much better stuff now. Yeah, like, the, the bars set higher. That was one of my notes that like I've seen all the good parts of this done better. I yeah, think, already, personally. which is hard to go back to, yeah. right? Like especially like watching Made in Abyss, right, and then go back to go from Made in Abyss to this, right? Made in Abyss is like. You know, really intense and really well polished in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, still edge lordy. Right. Still edge lordy, but but yeah. I mean that's that's the category we're looking yeah. at, right? Yeah. Like edge lord anime. Yeah, you're right, right? Yeah. So, yeah. All right. What was the uh, the mal score was seven point five. Oh, uh, there we go. You yeah. nailed it, Mike. I nailed it. Yeah. I'm very I'm very much so one of the people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Where were you on the Tommy Galaxy, you fucking idiot? Yeah, I was not one of the people with that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry guys. Yeah. Uh, I I normally am. I stand up for, for the community, but holy yeah, fuck. I'm sorry for calling you a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, that was funny. Okay. I also stand up for the community. <laughs> Uh, uh, good stuff, okay. guys. Fun. Good stuff. That's Where it. can people find you, Jordy? You can find me at Reaching In on Instagram. And what about you, Jay? At Hanger.91 on Instagram, Hanger91.BigCartel.com. Yes, and you guys can find me at ShmanimePod on TikTok, Instagram, and come join the Discord. It's fun sometimes. It is a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for me. Uh, yeah, for you, Jackass. Who is clearly <laughs> the star of the show. <laughs> so humble. Yeah. Hey, the people spoke. The people have spoken. You know what it is? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a a, a fucking <laughs> What is it? Uh, I'm gonna make a, a twice reference from a K pop reference here. Let's All do right. it. Okay, so so <clears throat> your I no 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 who's who's the the, the main girl that did pop pop <laughs> who's the main girl that did pop pop what's her Nyan. name Nyan so Nyan is technically the face of of Twice right you could say that yeah so I I feel like I'm a Nyan okay right but everybody always has a bias that's never Nyan right like they, it's like their their main bias is always somebody else yeah because and, they like someone else better. <laughs> Fuck you. Right? <laughs> that's what, that's what you're know, saying, honestly, right? I don't that's know where I was fucking going with this. Yeah. I'm done I was waiting. This. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Did you Never Not Kittens? Oh, yeah. Never Not Kittens. <laughs> Donate. We're a non-profit. Yeah. Uh, we love kitten, cats kitten for rescue. this show, of course. The, yeah, the cats yeah. need to rescue. Yeah. Oh, my God. This fucking debauchery. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. <laughs>